Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial for smart parking apps. My name is Justin, and today I'm going to walk you through how to obtain a visitor pass or a guest pass at any of our smart parking enabled parking lots. Uh, this can also apply if you're trying to pay for parking at a lot or at a meter. Once you've successfully logged in, you're going to see your dashboard as such. Our redesigned dashboard makes it really easy to obtain your visitor pass. In your quick access menu, the first option is get a visitor pass. Now you will be prompted to enter the lot ID to obtain your new visitor pass. This lot ID will be found either on a sign, a magnet, or a sticker attached to a meter. Enter the lot ID and select new pass. The next step is to enter your visitor pass information. Here you will enter your email address, your name, your phone number, your plate number, and the province or state of your plate. Once that information has been filled out, an extension to the form will appear, which will let you select the duration of your pass. By default, the system assumes that you're obtaining a pass that starts now, and you simply need to select the duration from this point. You can also select a custom start date because some lots have the option to book in advance. Once you've selected the duration of your pass, choose whether you want to enable email notifications before expiry. This means that 15 minutes before the expiration of your pass, you'll receive an email with options to extend your duration. Once you have reviewed all the details, select Book Pass. And here we go, your registration was successful. You'll receive a confirmation number, which shows your plate, the past time information, and you can also view your receipt. Note that if the parking has a fee, you will be directed to the Stripe portal to complete your payment and obtain your receipt. Going back to the dashboard, you can see the pass that you just purchased or acquired in the Visitor Passes option. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you still need help or have questions, please don't hesitate to visit our Help Center, which is located inside the app, or send us an email, or even check out our Discord server for additional help options. This was Justin from Smart Parking Apps, and I hope you have a great day.